Hey, <clears throat> I want to ask all you all to forgive my appearance. It's been a long night, as you can imagine. Um, getting messages from all over Afghanistan as to what is happening there. Um, I'm really petitioning all of you to really pray. Pray for the believers there. There's so much that is going on and so much that is happening. I, we've lost all contact as of about one o'clock this morning due to the fact that if the Taliban finds any Western numbers or contacts in their phones, they will kill them on sight. It is what the Taliban has done before. It is what their modus operandi is whenever they find uh, any believers. All believers in the country will be killed by the Taliban. They are not looking for converts at this point. They're looking for extermination of Christians. And despite what I just watched, the uh, oh, one of the Taliban leaders in Doha uh, just give a, uh, a talk on the BBC. And I'm telling you, these people are full of lies. They have no plan for good for the country of Afghanistan. They only have harm and destruction in their path. And uh, they will implement, they say that they are only uh, implementing uh, basic head coverings for women. It is a lie. Uh, they will they will total institute uh, total covering of all of the women's body and, and for it not to be seen and eliminate women education throughout the country. Uh, this is an evil demonic regime and they are planning on exterminating the second fastest growing church in the planet. Um, this is a, a time where I've had messages all night long from all over, people asking and, and uh, pleading for uh, prayer, pleading for intervention from the church here in the West to be praying for them, to be holding them up and to pray that the Taliban will fall and that they will not succeed in their plan to eliminate, again, the second fastest growing church in the world. I want to ask all of you to please ask your churches every prayer group you know, share my post that we put on. I'm pleading with you to uh, pray. And, and we, we saw it happen in Bamiyan as we petitioned for people to pray that the Taliban would not enter in Bamiyan. They did not enter Bamiyan by the grace of God. And so we need to see them not enter Kabul and to see it stopped and blocked. We also need to pray and uphold our brothers and sisters there who are going through such trauma and in fear of they've already been persecuted so much. You have no idea how much they've already been through. People that every time when I was just there in January working through so much pain of persecution from family. And so... Um, I want to ask you all to please be praying and get everyone that you can uh, to pray for Afghanistan and for the church in Afghanistan. Again, we currently have lost communication uh, with the believers there, um, but they will resume. I assure you somehow, some way we will find a way. Our government has thrown Afghanistan to the wolves. President Biden has thrown them to the wolves. And he pulled out everything you could see in my post and Instagram and Facebook that he pulled out all of the support and therefore released and pulled out their backbone. And so uh, with what had been set up before, which was working, the former administration had a working plan and it was in place and it was actually working. And so I, 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 I just it, it, I'm heartbroken at the way that our government and the UK government have treated the Afghan government and the leaders there and totally abandoning them, handing over and even withdrawing from them uh, military support and even withdrawing from the military weaponry that would have been able to help them keep things at bay. Um, but the U.S. Uh, government, they, 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 the President Biden this past week said that there's 350 military and police troops uh, that are uh, in Afghanistan that can overthrow the Taliban, which is only 100 and uh, which is only 75,000 
uh, and, and armed forces. Why they are caving, nobody totally knows, but I can tell you this, that um, without uh, U.S. or U.K. support, uh, without uh, the, the NATO support, it, it's, it's going to feel uh, like complete abandonment to them. And I think that's the reason why that so many places are caving and surrendering. And so it's, it's doubt, you know, the only thing that, that, uh, President Biden has done is send in a thousand troops just to evacuate our people, uh, and to leave the Afghans alone. Um, this is a tragedy. And so I want to petition you to pray, pray for the underground church in Afghanistan, pray that they be strong. They're showing immense strength. I can't tell you how blessed I am to see the strength in their heart. But pray that they withhold and pray that they stand strong and that they don't lose heart in this time and that God will prevail. Jesus Christ is King of kings and Lord of lords. And we declare that and I thank everybody for praying. And please keep holding up Afghanistan in prayer. We need that so much. And I plead with you to continue to continue to pray for them. God bless you guys. Thank you.